Hi, boys and girls. Mrs. Boydston here, and I am back with my friend, Leo. Everyone, can you say hi to Leo? He loves it when you say hello. Hello, hello, everybody. Are you ready to play with me? Yeah, yes, Leo, but first, we have to tell them what the game is. Oh, yeah, that's right. Today, we are going to be working with phonemic awareness. Sounds fancy. Yeah, it sounds fancy, but it really just means being able to hear sounds and identifying the letter that made that sound. All right, well, I'm ready to begin. Are you ready to begin? All right, here's how we'll play. I'm going to show you and Leo a picture. Uh-huh. And then you are going to say what you think that is a picture of. Listen to the word, because at the end of three pictures, I'll ask you a question about them. You might be able to figure out the question before I get to the end. All right, here we go. Okay, here's our first word. What is that? It's a girl. <laughs> That's right, Leo. It's a girl. Everyone say girl. All right, what's the next one? The next one is... That's a goat. Yes, it is. It is a goat. So we had a goat and a girl. What is this one? I know what that is. I love to play that. That's a guitar. Yeah, that's a guitar. That's right. So if we have a guitar and a goat and a girl, what sound do you hear at the beginning of each of those words? Which sound? Mm, I think I know. I'll bet you all know. What is it, everyone? Good. That's right. It's the g sound. G, as in the, the sound made by the guitar card, which what's the name of that letter, Leo? That's a G. I know that's a little confusing. You say G, but it says g. Sometimes it says j, like giraffe, but usually it says g. All right. Very good. Can we keep playing? Oh, yeah. We can keep playing. All right. Oh, okay. Some of these are a little tricky, so pay close attention. What do you think this is? That's an umbrella. You're right. That's an umbrella. All right, everyone, look at this next one. Don't get tricked. That's another umbrella. Yes, yes, it is. But what do you think that arrow means? Look again. Oh, I get it. It's under. They are under the umbrella. That's right. So we had umbrella and we have under. I love this one. I hope you like this one, too. Oh, that guy's upside down. That's right, Leo. He is upside down. So in upside down, under, and umbrella, what is the first sound you hear? What's the first sound you heard, Leo? I heard, oh. That's right, you heard the uh sound. Do you remember which letter makes the uh sound? I think I do, do you. I see what you did there. It's the letter U, that's right. And there's actually the umbrella on our U card. U says uh, 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 uh. Everybody say uh, 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 uh. That's kind of fun. All right, well, let's keep going. I have another one. Ooh, some of you are gonna love this picture. Some of you will hate it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> what is it, Leo? It's a web. It's a spider web. I'm not sure if I like that. Oh, I think it's kind of beautiful. Everyone say web. Web. You got it. I bet you're getting the hang of this. How about this yummy picture? Watermelon. That's a watermelon. Yes, it is. Everyone say watermelon. Got it. One more. If that's watermelon, what is this? Well, that's just water. It is. It's water. So what do we hear at the beginning of water, watermelon, and web? Did you hear it? I heard it. Did you hear it? It's a W. That's right. It's the W. The W says w, w, w. Look at my lips. W, w. And here we have it on our window card. 
window. I get it. And there's our W. It's kind of fun how the uppercase and the lowercase W look alike. All right, we're, get, we're getting to the end now. All right, here we go. What do you think this is? Mm, that could be orange juice, could be glass, could be juice. I don't know. Let's wait and see what the next card says. Oh, that's a good idea. Good strategy. Ooh, what is all of this? I get it. That's jewelry. Yes, that's jewelry. Everyone say jewelry. All right, only one more here. What is this man doing? Hmm. He's juggling. He's juggling those oranges and then he's going to make some juice. <laughs> That's right, Leo. Leo, so we have juggle, we have jewelry, and we have juice. This turned out to be juice. So what's that first sound that you hear, Leo? Well, I hear a j. Is that what you hear? If you heard j, you are correct. Do you remember the letter that says j? I think I do. Is it a j? It is. It's the j. It's like the jump rope card. J, j, j. Good job, everybody. Good job. I think there's only a few more left. Oh, I think you're going to like this one a lot. <gasps> what is that? Well, that is a big old brown bear. Yes, that is a big old brown bear. That's for sure. How about this one? Well, that's a beautiful bird. That's right. It's a bird. And finally, this is pretty cool. Bicycle or bike. Yeah, either one works. Very good. So we have bike. We have big old brown bear. And we have bird. All right. What was the letter or the sound, I should say? What's the sound you all heard, everyone? Did you hear the b? If you heard the B, you were correct. And what's that letter, Leo? B. That's right. It's our letter B, like the bat on the bat card. They all would be all right. Oh, we actually have three more letters to go. You're doing really well. We'll speed it up a little bit. What do you think this is? That's a pimento. Leo. All right. That's an olive. He's right. There's a pimento in the olive, but we call that an olive. I don't know. Thumbs up if you like them. Thumbs down if you don't. I love them. All right. Here we go. Here's our next one. That is an ostrich. That's right. The ostrich. That big old bird cannot fly. He's so big. How about this one? Octopus. I know an octopus anywhere. That's right. That's an octopus. So octopus, ostrich, olive. What do you hear? I hear ah. Oh. If you heard ah, oh, you got it correct. And what's that letter, everybody? It's the O. That's right. It's O for octopus. Good job. All right. You're going to keep on playing. Not sure you'll all know this one. What do you think this is? Hmm. Looks a little like a guitar, but I think it's a violin. That's right. It is a violin. Everyone say violin. Right. Okay. <gasps> Volcano. That's right. That's the volcano erupting. Wow. Mm, this kind of makes me hungry. V vegetables. I'm not sure I love vegetables. Do you like vegetables? Well, I do. They're very good for us. All right. So what's the first sound in vegetables? Volcano and violin. That first or initial sound is mm. <laughs> that's right. Ooh. And that's the letter. What letter is that one? Do you remember? V. Yes, brought to you by the volcano card. Okay, we are down to our final phonemic awareness game for today. I don't want it to end. Well, that's okay, Leo. We'll be back tomorrow. All right, what is this? Well, that's a net. You could use that to catch butterflies or fish. Okay, yeah, I suppose you could. Oh, watch the arrow on this one. It's her nose. It's pointing to her nose. Yep, it's pointing to her nose. So finally, what is this then? Night. I'd recognize that anywhere. That's right. That's the night sky. We've been thinking about things we see in the sky. So if we say night. Nose. Net. What is that? What's that first sound we all heard? 
Yes, it's the mmm sound. Everyone say it with Leo. Mmm. That's right. You have to stick your tongue up behind your teeth. Mmm. All right. And that is our mmm card brought to us by the letter N. All right, Leo. Well, thanks for playing with us today. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Everybody, I hope you enjoyed it. We're going to come back tomorrow with a slightly different game. I'm sure you'll do really well at it. Thank you for playing. So long. So long. Till next time.